Ah, Bikini Baton, a lovely town located at Bikini Atoll, used for nuclear testing in real life. Our friend SpongeBob was impacted by the testing, or at least that's how the theory goes. Is it true? We'll find out in three seconds later. SpongeBob has never been a cartoon about lore, and it doesn't really take world building seriously. That being said, there have always been a few established rules about these characters and where they live. SpongeBob and friends are right under this island, which is Bikini Atoll. This leads to a question surrounding nuclear radiation. Was that ever really a part of the Spongebob universe? If so, how has it affected the characters? There's been a popular fan theory that everyone was formed because of these radioactive events. A lot of people had questions, and the show hasn't really answered them until now. Surprisingly, we get something not from the main Spongebob, but instead, the Patrick Star Show! In a recent episode, Who's a Big Boy? Patrick heads back in time to the 40s. Why? Because this is the Patrick Star Show. Don't question it. In his journey to the past, the fan theory is tested for the first time. What you'll notice right away is that the entire city looks different, more worn down than we're used to. A few seconds in, one of the burning questions is already answered. Hello? Warning! Warning! If you have entered the nuclear testing area, you are a knucklehead. Danger! Nuclear testing! So it's not exactly nuclear, but you get the idea. This is pretty much as close as you can get to acknowledging the backstory. Patrick finds himself in the warm home of a family, but they're not normal. With the radioactive symbol on all their heads, every fish here is just a dummy for testing the effects of nuclear bombs. That's what Bikini Bottom was in the 40s, a simulated normal city. One. One and a half. One and a quarter. Now, now, now. When the explosion happens, Patrick returns to the present, and he's exposed to radiation. Over the course of the episode, Patrick keeps growing because of the radiation. The entire story is centered around that, but a lot of it doesn't really matter right now. What we should be paying attention to is the fact that, yeah, nuclear testing in Bikini Bottom is confirmed. To make it more kid-friendly, they're knuckles that cause impact, but that's the only difference. Of course, this doesn't match the theory one-to-one, -one, but the main idea of the theory is legit. The whole thing appearing also makes sense because in September 2021, we heard about a discussion behind the scenes. A theory long confined to the pages of creepypasta, YouTube explainers, and fan forums, it seems the show's speculative nuclear origin story has made its way offline and into the hollowed halls of Nickelodeon, finding acknowledgement, and even in some cases, acceptance, among members of the SpongeBob team. Correct can exclusively confirm. According to one member of Nickelodeon's creative promotions department, who spoke under the condition of anonymity out of fear of professional retribution, the highly popular bikini Atoll theory is unofficial canon, functioning as well-accepted fanfic, and finding casual mentions in discussions between colleagues working on or adjacent to the show. Even if SpongeBob and everyone else aren't the direct cause of nuclear testing, it still happened within the show's universe, and that's insane. Then again, we're watching SpongeBob here. Nickelodeon won't publicly mention this because it's not the most family-friendly thing around, but hey, the Patrick Star Show is pretty cool to have this. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.